Hey, what is up guys? Gaming by Chris. Here today with a Minecraft file video, how to make your own Minecraft mob. And this is going to allow you guys to change what the mob looks like completely. You can change it to look like a whole different animal if you want to. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to do it using a program called GIMP2. The link is in the description to go download it. You're also going to need to download Renoir Archiver. And, guys, if you haven't seen my last video on how to make a Minecraft texture pack, uh, it is in the description. I, uh, I recommend you guys going to check it out because it's going to give you the basic tips and tools how to make this texture pack. But if you haven't seen it, uh, you'll probably be fine here, but there's going to be an annotation on the screen right about here and in the description so you can go watch that video. It'll open a new window so that you can come right back right after. So let's get into it. First things first, you're going to go to start right down here and type in run. You can either click on it or click enter, which I just did. In the box, you're going to type in percent app data percent and then click OK. This file is going or folder is going to open. It's going to be called roaming. It means you're in the right place if it says roaming up at the top right here. Now you're going to click Minecraft, click into the bin, and then this Minecraft executable jar file down here. It'll either say that or in our archive. It'll be the biggest file in there, so you just know it's that. And plus, it's always in the same spot. So just double click that, and that'll open for you like so. And that if that pops up, just click X. Not too hard. Let's go ahead and minimize that drag this over to the side and I'm going to delete this you won't have to delete this obviously because you don't have it yet so step one after all of that you're going to click right click on your desktop click new open or make a new folder entitle it mob mob no capitalized you're going to open that folder up that you have just made and bring it over to the side you're going to go back into your minecraft jar folder and you're going to open up the mob like that you're going to just highlight everything inside of it and drag it right on over to your new folder. It's going to be right there. You're going to make sure nothing is highlighted. Then you're just going to take this file and you're going to minimize it. You're going to keep this file right here. Just put it off to the side like so. And now you're going to open up GIMP2. GIMP2 is just a photo editing software if you didn't already know, if you were thinking like, what is GIMP? But it's just a photo editing software. You can also use Photoshop and Paint.net. I'm sure there's various other ones that you can use. Uh, but this is the one I'm showing you guys how to use it on so and plus I think it's the easiest so I've already edited a bunch of stuff trying to make videos I've been failing at this I've been stuttering a lot it's getting late actually no it's not it's 430 but yeah so right now we're going to edit the enderman and you just grab it drag it on over to GIMP and drop it and I don't know why it did that but it is now in there you just click up on this now you go down to the bottom left corner and you click in this little box that says uh, click to paint. It'll say that right next to it if you're not on it. And then when you get by it, it'll say whatever the file name is, which in this case is enderman.png. Just click on it and add another zero so it's a thousand percent and click enter. Now you'll see the wonderful, wonderful enderman. Now the endermen are pretty scary, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to make an enderman less scary. Uh, like inception double video meaning no not really I'm just gonna teach you how to change the mob the way the mob looks for your texture pack so now you're ne gonna need to change this because as you can see this is really big and it's just gonna mess up the whole thing so I'm gonna undo that now you're gonna wanna go up to the top left corner click on tools and click down here it's just the third one from the bottom it says new toolbox just open that on up and now I'm going to fix it a little bit and pull it down make it a little yep there we go now I just like I like I like to make it smaller and a little fatter because I like to fit it right. alright now that you guys have the enderman in here I'm going to show you guys how to edit it first things first if you want to keep the shading you're going to use the paintbrush tool The paintbrush tool is gonna leave a softer color and then go to a harder one until it reaches the color you've selected now for this video purposes just to make it quick I'm going to use the pencil tool when you click the pencil tool you're going to double click it and this box is going to pop up entitled tool options grab the size right here and when you grab it when you're on it you're just going to drag over till it says 1.00 then you're going to click this right here and you're going to make it a little square just click out of that when you're on to make sure it'll lock to every pixel there is 
Now you're going to double click this color right here, or click it once, as it seemed to work there, and you're going to pick a color you want for the Enderman. Endermen are pretty scary guys, so I'm going to go with a nice pink, because what's scarier than a pink Enderman? And I'm just going to color it in real quick, just to show you guys that this is going to work. Now you are also able to add certain things onto the Enderman within precautions. You can play with it and go back to Minecraft and play with it all you want until you get it how you want it. And you'll be able to check in everything and it's going to be really cool because it's going to be a pink Enderman. And I'll also show you some of the other mobs I've made and all of that junk. Also guys, if you haven't seen my last video on how to make the Minecraft texture pack, part one how to make the items folder and all that you're going to want to go check that out it's in the dis links in the description you want to go check that out that is part one i also say in that if you're coming from part one onto part two i say that i'm working on a minecraft texture pack myself that'll be coming out soon uh, i said it was going to come out in august uh... obviously it's november and it's still not out so time is cut caught up to me and i got lazy and my computer wasn't working right so guys i'm going to actually start working on that again i'm going to re fix not refix but i'm going to redo everything on my computer minecraft wise and i'm going to start working on the texture pack again and it's going to come out hopefully soon i'm not going to give an official release date because obviously the first time that did not happen at all now i'm trying to make this a little quicker so that i can show you guys and uh, i'm just going to kind of color in his face here not so good because I want this to be done so that I can show you guys that it works and just for purpose just for coolness purposes I'm going to make his eyes green like that alright now you can just click out of your toolbox once you are done with that now you're gonna go up in this corner right here click on file you're not gonna go to save or save as I repeat do not go to save or save as you'll get mad I used to do that and I got mad and every single time I did it go down to export you're going to want to export it to your desktop as a dot png file don't export it into mob just desktop then just click export leave all this the same click export again now I'm just going to go down here and click, and now it is going to appear right here. Uh, okay, right there. Now you're going to open up your mob folder that you have personally made, and you're going to drag the Enderman right on top of it and say move to mob, mob to mob. You're going to click move and replace files, and it's going to fix just like that. Now you can just exit out of that because you're done with it. Now you want to open up your Minecraft executable jar file once again. Just click out of that as always. My, minimize that. Bring this over to the side. And now you're going to drag in your mob folder on your desktop that you have made into the Minecraft executable jar folder or file, whatever. You're going to add and replace files. Click OK. It is going to add and replace those files. So now I will. Don't want to do any of that. Now I'm going to go exit out of this and open up Minecraft to show you guys that this indeed works and will change the look of your mobs so I'm going to show you the enderman here on creative mode go to my creative world and we're going to be on an island after it downloads drain and here's a bunch of sheep that I made before and I kinda need to kill them but we're gonna go find the enderman one and we are going to spawn an enderman where all right, Enderman, you guys ready? Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Why are they transforming? But look, they're pink. Look, they're pink. Look, they're pink. Pink, 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 pink. All right, let's go find some land here. I got another idea. We're gonna go making make a world on this. All right, now we're in the trees. All right, look green sheep and now we're going to successfully spawn an enderman this time why won't they spawn I don't know they're not spawning for some reason but you can see that they're pink if I just keep clicking you can see that he is pink and his eyes are green so I did indeed make a minecraft mob um, guys it didn't break him 
It's not, that's not the reason why he's not working. It's something to do with the game and being dark and stuff. But if you do find the mobs without spawning them, you will notice that they are still whatever you made them. Like right here, I made the sheep with green, like so. And I will also show you the chicken, which I also have done and made him green. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped you make your own mob. Make sure to... Put your, or send me a message with your texture pack in it and the download link so that I can do a review of it. Also, if this helps you, make sure to leave a comment telling me it helped. And thanks for watching, guys. My texture pack should be coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching. You're all awesome. If you haven't, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.